so hello everyone in this video i will i am covering the uh, in how many ways you can you know input a particular value in any component so there are actually three ways uh, by which you can input a value to a particular component the first way is by you know manual type and the second one is you can feed data with a component and third one is directly importing a particular geometry from Rhino. So let's go one by one. So before going to that, uh, uh, let's see how you can import uh, anything, any component to this canvas. Stuff. So if you are bringing uh, any component from the uh, from the component palette, so you just have to drag and drop, and it will bring the particular component. So here I have brought this component in canvas. So if I want to change the value of x, I can just you know right click on x and set number and I press one commit changes. So whatever the value I am putting here, you can see there's a little dot which is showing the values and the value is you can see one zero zero which is visible here. So if any time you have to change these values, you have to right click and set number and you know value commit changes and you can see it can be a tidy tidy some process if you have to input a lot of values and the second way is you know by directly directly inputting value from a component so you can for the you can use you know a number slider for this thing so go to parameters input number slider so number slider uh, actually is a volatile type component where you can have a range of value if you want to change the value you can just you know, double click on it and you can see uh, you can uh, change the accuracy over here like natural number or real number what you want and number of digit by double clicking you can change the minimum value and maximum value that like if I can change this to you know 10 so the maximum value is change so it its maximum value is 10 as you can see and there's one more way you can bring slider into the canvas just double click and type slider and you can see number slider is there and for the slider uh, there's another way double click on it and you know if you need consider you need a um, a number slider which goes from 0 to 10 so you type 0 and 5.0 goes for 10.0 so here 5.0 uh, is the minimum value 5.0 is the default value and 10.0 is the you know the maximum value and present so here you can see we have a number slider which have a particular value uh, at num uh, 5 which maximum value is 10 and the minimum value is 0 so if you connect so what you can see this is a uh, uh, you know input parameter uh, uh, its output grip and we only connect it with the input grip of the point you can see you can see the changes in Rhino as I you know changes so let's connect it with Y and this one with X so you know this is the way you can you know make a volatile data input to any particular component uh, so let's move next and the last way is uh, direct import from the geometry let's make a curve in in Rhino so go to curve polyline uh, now polyline go to freeform and I will put control points so you know so I made a curve right click finish so let's bring on curve here curve here and we are bringing two more components other component is uh, length length uh, okay I would go to curve analysis and let's find curve length um, it will be here yes this is the curve length and one more component panel I will tell you about it in a little bit what it does and so the third way is you just select a geometry like this curve 
and go to the curve and click set one curve now this curve is has turned to the gray color initially it was in orange which was warning now if you uh, you know that this length tells the length uh, curve length if we are inputting any curve here so let's input the curve and if you take it over it is showing the uh, length of the curve that is 108.42 and the panel component what it is it is found in parameters and uh, input here you can see panel panel uh, by the panel you can you know see the any value so i'm going to uh, connecting the uh, grip of len to the panel and you can see the value 118 even you know you can see it's a direct uh, reflection by you know if i change the control points in rhino you can see the uh, the length of the curve changing in the grasshopper geometry so you know the grasshopper is actually a dynamic programming language you, uh, the, let's, um, the changes are fed simultaneously as as they are made um, right now what you have to do if you want to save this file you have to save this file separately uh, the rhino file and the grasshopper file but there's a way if you uh, just click on the you know if you want to you know contain both of them in the same file click on the curve internalized data now what happens this curve contains the rhino geometry so it and the curve becomes the part of the grasshopper so you just have to save the grasshopper you don't have to save the rhino so it saves you from you know saving a, a single file and two files so if you want to skip that just click on click on the curve and enter the data